Okay, so as we move through this activity, you need a couple things. You need to have your computers open. You need to have your article open. Okay, um, you also um, need another tab to do some Google searches. Yay! All right, can you put that in the paper clips? Um, and then I want to make you aware of a tool that I use all the time. If you look at the URL bar and you follow it to the right, yeah, there is a little, there is either three dots or a little red house. Okay, if you click on it and you go down to find, and on the page that you're on, you can type in any word, and it will find it in the article. Bro. Okay, really handy, right? So we're going to use that tool. That's cool. That is cool. Are you ready? So I can type it? All right. Let's start with this one. The article that's genetically modified organisms. It was the link that um, had... The windmills, the windmills on the icon. Is that right? Okay. So um, raise your hand if you had that article. GMO, genetically modified organisms, it had the windmill. One in each group. Good. Okay. If you didn't have that article but you still want to look at it, you're welcome to open that article and search for the words yourself too. So let's take a look. Uh, this is a good one. Let's start with polarized. Mason, mm -mm, figure it out. Okay, so we're going to do polarized. Um, what I want you to do is find it in the article, you people who read this article, or if you want to, and read the sentence out loud, loud enough that the video can pick it up. It is no co coincidence. coincidence that reactions for and against GMOs are often radical and polarized. It is no coincidence, something, 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 radical and polarized. Can you read it one more time? It is no coincidence that reacting for and against GMOs are often radical and polarized. Reacting? Radical. No, that word reacting. It is no coincidence that, reaction. that, reaction. that reactions are, okay. So your reaction to something. So based on that sentence, can you figure out what the word polarized means? Yeah. Using context clues, who thinks that they could take a crack at it before they search up the word? Take a crack at it, what do you think? Oh, uh, polarized, uh... Oh, yeah, never Don't be afraid to try. Go. So you looked up the definition. No, I just reread the sentence. Okay, what do you think? Um, that is like uh, maybe isolated. Nope. I, isolated is a great guess. I looked up. Um, uh, it says polarized cat or uh, restrict the variation of um transverse waves, especially oh, light. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Is that the area of science that we're looking for? <laughs> Polarized has three or four or five definitions. That one's for like sunglasses. They say polarized sunglasses. Yeah, good connection, right? So that's not the definition we're looking for. Um, divide or cause to divide into two sharply con con contrasting contrasting groups respecting opinions or beliefs. Opinions and beliefs sharply contrasting opposite sides. Polarized. Are genetically modified organisms something that people can have two different viewpoints that don't agree? Yes. Totally. So that's the definition of the word that we're looking for. Okay, so this is saying that it's no coincidence, you know, that this brings up some opposing views. Right? Yeah. Great. Let's move on. 
Um, what's another word? Let's do moratorium. Moratorium. Ooh, that's a good one. Find the sentence, please. Thank you, George. Someone from each group should be furiously typing, looking for that word. Mason is on fire today. Who can beat him out of the gate? Do you have it? Have oh, tell me what the sentence is. What is my sentence? No, I want you to find the sentence in the article first, so if we can figure it out. Go ahead. Following mounting evidence that BT Cotton is behind a number of farmer suicides, the, I, the India Supreme Court has recommended, re recommended a 10-year moratorium on all field traits of GM food. So what I heard is that BT Cotton did something, a bunch of farmers committed suicide, and now the court in India recommended a moratorium on GMO foods. I'm guessing it's a law. A yeah, law, that's what I was gonna get. It's like a law. A, a hold, a restriction. Oh, you guys are firing. All right. Um, what do you think BT Cotton is? Um, oh, a business. A business that does genetically modified cotton. A company. So there's a company that does genetically modified cotton, and because of something they did, farmers committed suicide. And now there is a law in India that puts a hold on it. Yeah. Make sense? Yep. We didn't even need Google it. Ah, you, we didn't even need to Google it. That was perfect. Give me another one. Synagem. We just talked about that. Um, I see scrutiny twice. Let's look at that one. Find that word. Scrutiny. All right, read the sentence, please, Tyler. Um, Loud. Second, the use of more precise technology yeah. in the greater regularity scrutiny probably makes GMOs even safer than conventional poles and fruit. Scrutiny probably makes GMOs safer than regular food. Is that what it said? Scrutiny is maybe protection. Scrutiny makes GMOs better. Read the first part of that sentence yet. Hey, some ground rules for this uh, conversation. Uh, if you are not contributing to the class, don't talk. Don't make noise because it makes it hard to hear. Okay, so read the first part of that sentence again for me, nice and loud. Second, the use of more precise technology and greater regularity. Second, the use of more precise technology and regularity. Scrutiny makes GMO safer. So after so what it means by second after more precise technology and better regulation which goes back to this better regulation scrutiny makes it safer so what is scrutiny let's look this one up do you want to take a guess leah when you like look at it harder when you look at it harder yes so look up a formal definition of scrutiny. You got it? Go ahead. Observations or examinations. Observations or examination. Careful. Observations and examinations. Okay, something to add? Yeah, I found this other article that might have helped you out. It was not article, it's the same article. But it is another scrutiny in the same that article as this. Trump administration announces new scrutiny. 
security of nursing homes. So maybe like looking closer at nursing homes. Looking closer at nursing Help homes. Me. Okay, when you look closely at a controversial issue, okay, and nursing homes, this is a good connection. Um, that's where most of the deaths in the United States have come from, from the coronavirus. That's why it's in the news. Why are so many people in nursing homes well, not so. It's a. It's more than. Yes, sir. Because their immune system is basically done for. Oh yeah. Okay. But would looking at how we set up nursing homes help solve that problem? It would it make it safer for them if we were to look at it carefully and think of some solutions? <laughs> that scrutiny here. I like it. Let's move on to genes and identity. Oh. Gene doping. Yep, uh, find that in the article. So this is a different article. Who's got this article? Ooh. All right, can you read loudly the sentence that that's in? Gene doping? Did you, you know where that word is? Found it. It says building. Okay, are you using the tool I showed you? So click here, go to find, and type in doping. D-O-P-I-N-G. Oh, D-O-P. Look at that Belgian blue cowboy. There it is. Okay, and you want to go, use this arrow to go up. Please stop talking. Oh, okay. Oh, there's lots of instances. Gene Building better athletes with gene doping. Read this sentence for me, Isabel. Are gene doping Isabella. and other forms of genetic engineering something worth exploring, or should we, as a society, decide that multiplication of genes and non existence proposed of unethical? That's a big sentence. Yes? Okay, so doping, doping itself, right, is not genetic. Huh? But you dope the genes. But you dope the genes. So doping is drugs uh, to enhance performance. So gene doping is putting drugs in genes, making it more effective. What can we do to change genes? Well, the disease thing that we read about yesterday. The disease thing we read about yesterday. Which one? The, the, one, the last page of the thing. Yes, yeah. good. Oh, oh, what is that so page 84 to 88. Gene, gene therapy. therapy. So gene therapy does what? Gene it, doping. It, it doping. It turns a copy of a healthy DNA into a, DNA, into a virus gene and infects the patient with a virus and then the virus is Wow. So what they're doing is if we have two chromosomes and there is a gene here, they cut it out and replace it with a different one. So let's say there's a gene for muscle development like the cow. You see the picture of the cow on that article? Yes. Muscles. That's for eating, right? Okay, but in an athlete, can you cut out the regular gene and insert the mutated gene no. to give an athlete muscles? No. You can do that? Yes, sir? Would it would be like taking embryos from a cow and putting it in the like that's in vitro fertilization, which they do often. That's for selective breeding, which they talked about in the article too, right? Selective breeding allows us to pick and choose certain traits from parents. So if we take an embryo from a cow that has a trait we desire, like a lot of meat, good, tasty, fatty meat, drool in a little bit, all right? And we fertilize it with sperm from a different cow that has that good meat trait as well, you're going to get offspring that are almost guaranteed to have good meat or milk producers or a certain type of fur or 
resistant to disease. Make sense? Here, we're talking about humans. Gene doping is what? Changing genes for what benefit? Muscles. Better, Better D. Performance. performance in sports. So let's say Matthew gets gene doping. Uh, <laughs> what's your favorite sport, Matthew? Basketball. Okay, so he gets a gene that makes him a little bit taller, a little bit stronger with wicked hand-eye coordination. Is that fair? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, they nope. also, also what about the rest of his teammates that don't get the gene doping? Well, then that's too bad. That's too bad. All right, so... Can you see how that could be polarized? Mm -hmm. Eh? Wait, what's polarized? When two things oh my both. God. Oh. When there's two sides of the thing. Like, you think it's okay that these athletes get gene doping, but Brendan doesn't. Well, it's fair, Brendan. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> That's a very polarized view. Remember to keep an open mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this is a good one. Let's do uh oh, let's do ethical. I put that one. Okay, good. Look up look up that word. Ethical. Found it. Okay, I got it. Okay. Brendan, read the def the read the sentence it's in. I'm not in the group. Oh, you're not in that group. Nope. I am. I love the enthusiasm. I want to give everybody a chance. if they're going to jump on it. Okay. You got this yet? This is your article. Are you using that tool? Thank you for helping. Fine. So you're going to type in ETH slash EAL. Okay. So read and then can you read the next one? Of course. Nice and loud so we can hear. Of course, the possibility of human genetics and engineering raises numerous ethical and legal questions. Numerous ethical and legal questions. What do you think ethical means? There's a lot. There's a lot of ethical in this article, right? Mm -hmm. How many? Three. Seven. Just seven. Four, five, seven. Three. Okay, it says in that bar, how many? Seven. There's seven of that word mentioned, so this is an important word. So, Izzy, what do you think ethical means? What makes sense? Okay. Beneficial question. Or beneficial is it right? Is it is the consequence are the consequences is it good enough to be? Maybe it's like a good question, like a beneficial question that'll help it out. Okay. Let's look up a formal definition. Eli. Moral principles. More big words. Yes, ma'am? And then there's another one of a medicine available only on a doctor's prescription and usually not advertised to the general public. Mm. It's a private. Mm -hmm. No kind of doctor. Like they have to they prescribe have ethics. Like they they can't can't just prescribe. So it's a, that's an example. Doctors have to have ethics. Huh? Moral principles. What does it mean to be a moral person? The, um, Morality. A bad person? Or, yeah. Bad person or? Because of like infant mortality, right? That's just what it means. Oh, oh mortality. Mm -hmm. Oh, Moral. how good you are. How, how nice you are. good you are. How nice you are. Character to traits. Right. To live right. Character <laughs> traits. Good character <laughs> traits, right? Okay. So ethics is, are you good or not? Do you have ethics? So, what's this article saying? That they're like good questions. These people that are doing like the gene doping and all that stuff, like they have to follow these ethical rules. 
So if we're going to do gene doping, if we're going to change human genetics. It'd be up to meet certain like standards because they could be like not trust them and maybe they're doing it for a bad reason. And that would be scrutiny, yeah. right? On this polarized issue. You guys are rock stars. Love it. Okay. Um, let's see if we can get one more in. Let's go to the pros and cons. Hmm. Let's look at um, this work, bioengineering. Find that in the, and you had this word in your article yesterday too. So let's find it and read the sentence within that. Who's got these articles? Jarek, use that tool to find this word, bioengineering, in your article. Jalen, do you have this article? No. Are you using that tool to find bioengineering? No. Did you find it? Read the sentence loud. International bioengineers the new bioengineering standards will come into force in what year? That's now. January 1st, it already happened. All right, so what's a standard? Like, basically something that, that is, like, needed to be accomplished. Like, like something if you say you have high standards that like you're expecting you have them. high like expect you're like you expect people to do this high expectations okay what do you think they're talking about something that's an expectation so Ooh. an expectation should have gone into place January first of this year maybe it's like a healthy food act because it says food disclosure standards will come into force food disclosure so bioengineering food disclosure act what do you think that means bio, bio, biological bio engineering changing like the biology maybe they don't want all the food organisms. to be like genetically modified they want like the original okay can we look up the matthew the use of Ooh, okay. Term yep. Genetic engineering. It's another term for genetic engineering, bioengineering. So genetic engineering means to genetically change something. Yeah. Like gene doping. Nice job, guys.